Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or COPD, is a lung disease characterized by chronic obstruction of lung airflow that interferes with normal breathing and the condition is not fully reversible once it starts. Now, the more familiar terms like chronic bronchitis, asthma, emphysema are no longer used but are now included within the COPD diagnosis. The disease is typically slowly progressive and persistent and is the fourth most common cause of death in the United States. Now, 80% of COPD patients have a history of cigarette smoking, but 20% have no smoking history, such as many asthmatic patients. Nevertheless, the drugs used to treat COPD are highly useful symptomatically, but they don't address all the root causes that produce progressive airway obstruction. Now, in recent years, studies have been undertaken that combine standard drug therapy for COPD and supplementation with a natural compound known as NAC or N-acetylcysteine. It's a naturally occurring uh, supplement, if you will. And this is because experimental studies have shown that NAC can suppress many factors that promote the, the, the disease process in COPD. Now, more specifically, NAC has been shown to decrease free radical damage to lung tissues in the COPD models that we have. It also suppresses lung inflammation and it helps to break up lung mucus in various types of scientific studies that have been undertaken so far. As such, in 2013, uh, a, a pilot study was undertaken that put NAC supplementation to the test in a clinical trial involving 45 acute exacerbation COPD patients. So the study showed that compared to the placebo group and the group given low dose NAC supplementation, the group who ingested 1200 milligrams a day of NAC or N-acetylcysteine in three divided doses of 400 milligrams per dose, they showed decreased lung inflammation markers, they showed decreased free radical markers in the lungs, and they demonstrated significantly improved pulmonary function, and they increased their partial pressure of oxygen in their blood after just 10 days of NAC supplementation. These are highly impressive findings. This means that these individuals who were struggling to breathe because they're in an, an exacerbative state of COPD, in just 10 days, it meant that their breathing was much better, more oxygen was getting into the bloodstream, more oxygen could diffuse through the lungs into the bloodstream, which is the ultimate goal in COPD management. So the results suggest that when added to standard drug therapy for COPD, NAC supplementation can help arrest and even reverse some key aspects of the disease. It's well established that lung inflammation, free radical damage, promote the progression of COPD, making it a potentially lethal condition for those who are afflicted. As well, thick and mu mucus secretions are a common problem in COPD and are known to make the disease worse as it makes the lungs a more ideal environment for bacteria and viruses to thrive. Thus, anything that can decrease lung inflammation and free radical damage and help break up mucus in the lungs and suppress bacterial and viral proliferation in the airways is bound to be an important adjunct in COPD management. And that's exactly what NAC supplementation was shown to do. So NAC supplementation at 400 milligrams, three times a day, has been shown to provide these benefits in a short-term COPD clinical trial cited in today's research update. So I've included the reference for this study in the text below in case you're an individual that has COPD or you know someone who does, this information might be vitally important to share with them and with their attending physician. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.